Gigig recently made a video about how there weren't really any classic anime anymore, and that caused my friend the Annoying Geek to write a blog about what he thought were some modern classics. So seeing his blog caused me to want to answer that same question for myself. What are some modern classics? So I went through Mal for the past five years to look at the anime that I felt had a lasting impact, either through the community, or through anime as a whole, or just something that makes it a relic of its time in anime. So to be on this list, it needs to have started after 2014 and not have been a continuation of a previous anime. And I'm also sticking to those I like and that I feel are mostly critically acclaimed. But as I was building this list and looking through Anoidi Geek's list, I also thought about the cult classics, shows that have not received that much critical acclaim, but they have a passionate fan base that has continued years after the show initially aired. So today I will present you with three cult classics and eight other modern classics. So starting off with the cult classics, we have a show that of course I have to include on it, and that would be gonna be the Twin Tales. This absurd sort of magical girl show is about following your passions and is a lot of fun. Other than me, it doesn't get a lot of attention, but it really does have a passion fan base that see how special the show is. It is my favorite hidden gem anime, and one I enjoy talking about every chance I can get, so of course I had to put it here. Then there is School Live, a show that was brought up on an Anoyed's Geeks list, and it's actually the reason I wanted to make my own list. It is a slice of life about these characters living in a school, but also something much more. While it had a big impact when first aired, the hype surrounding it has mostly died down, though it is still there. And really, it is a show hard to forget, and it still has a fan base who love it. It even made me go read the manga to see what happens after the anime ended, and I pretty much never do that. So yeah, it's a good show. And another impressive, though not overly talked about show is SSSS Gridman. It is a unique take on the classic mech genre, and it leaves a lot to think about and consider. Most people may not consider it their favorites, but there is still a small fan base that really is eager to dig into what this series is saying. Like, there's an hour-long video that gets into the themes about it that you should check out. I should too, actually, since I haven't yet. And I feel like this could be one of those classics that people overlook, but then they will slowly come to appreciate over time. So, I think it's worth this list. Alright, now for the true modern classics. And by the way, this list is not ranked. It's kind of in chronological order. Actually, no it's not. <laughs> First, we have A Place Further Than the Universe. It's hard to argue against the impact that the show has in the anime community. It's a show all about going on adventures, challenging the ordinary life, and this message really resonated with many in the anime community. It's one thing to make a show that a lot of people love. There are a lot of shows that do that. But it's another thing to make people go do something with their lives that they would not have otherwise. And because of the impact this show had on the community, that happened. So it definitely deserves its spot here. Then there's Mob Psycho, which had its second season come out recently to critical acclaim. But even if season two had not come, I still feel like this is a classic anime because of how much the anime community loves it. Its animation alone makes it something to remember, but there's also a lot about its very human story, especially as we see Mob grow throughout the two seasons. This show is really one of a kind, and I think it's one that will be remembered for years down the road. Next on my list is One Punch Man. The first season made a huge impact in the anime community, even going beyond the anime community. And while its second season isn't as well received, it's a show that I feel will remain popular whether or not it got a continuation. Just because of how it is able to cleverly twist what we're used to seeing from superhero shows, and of course, some incredible fights. Then, moving away from the action to Slice of Life, I feel like a classic is March Comes In Like a Lion. It is very well regarded with the anime community, with its second season being in the top 10 series on Mal. It is a very relatable and human story too, plus its unique style makes it something that I think people will remember. And while it does not have as much popularity as some others on the list, it still has twice as many people completed it as have completed Legend of the Galactic Heroes, and it is still around the top 300 most viewed shows on Mal, so not a Huge show, but definitely one that has its fan base. Then there's Konosuba, probably the biggest comedy of the past few years, and it's one of those shows that they're just great when you want to sit down with friends and laugh at an anime. It will not be remembered for its timeless narrative, but really, it's able to highlight the common tropes of the genre that have become so popular. 
And I've seen the first season three times, and I've enjoyed it so much every time, so that sort of rewatch value is really good. And while this might be some of my personal preference, I find it to be just as funny as the older classics like Golden Boy. I also saw that there's a lot of excitement for the dub, showing that despite the series being a couple years old, people still care about it and want to come back to it. Next is My Hair Academia. This one might not be quite as fair with it being a long-running show, but in many ways, it ushered in a new set of big long-running shonen. It was able to bring back the hype that fans had for the big three, along with introducing a new generation of fans to this type of storytelling that these shows offer. This is probably the most popular anime among the community right now, at least judging from like all the cosplay I see at conventions. And I also feel like the themes and message is one that really resonates to this generation of anime fans with how optimistic it is. It is as if you push back against the cynical storytelling that we see like everywhere in any type of storytelling. The world may be messed up, but there is still hope and the chance to be heroes. Yes, this is far from the only show to have this type of message, it really captures the hearts of fans who want to believe it. So I do not think me calling this an anime classic is me just being a fanboy. Then there's ReZero, a show that really illustrated what isekai storytelling is capable of. Before 2016, I felt really tired of the genre. There's SAO in the dungeon anime and a lot of other cliche ones. But the year proved that in the right hands, the genre could be something really great. I already talked about Konosuba, and then on the more serious side, there's Grimgar, Fantasy, and Ash, which show that, yes, this could be a really interesting story. But then ReZero came, and I'd say it blew them all away. The community was captivated by it from the beginning, and I remember friends saying it could be among their favorite anime ever. One of my good friends, Garfield, has it as his favorite anime ever. So yes, people like this show. There's so much that it did right. It had a weak, idiotic, but passionate protagonist. A world where every character felt like they could be the main character in their own story. And just one of the greatest waifu wars to ever exist. So yeah, I'd say it's deserving of the title of anime classic. Then lastly, Assassination Classroom. This is one that I did not think would be remembered as much when it first aired, but it is one that I see people coming back to. I've been spending some time on Anime Mino, and it is definitely one of the shows that keeps popping up again and again. So yes, it does have a long-standing fan base. And I feel like its message, its way of encouraging people, even if they've had a hard life, they can still make a difference in the world, despite them being written off by society. I also feel that it is one of the best anime at illustrating the power of absurd storytelling, which anime can be very absurd at times. So those are my 11 classics. Let me know down in the comments which other ones you think should be added to the list. And thank you uh, for Anointed Geek for giving me this idea. Go check out their blog, which I will hopefully remember to link in the description below. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.